What's going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. We're gonna unbox some Amazon pallets. First, what day is today? I don't know, the sale is next week. A little sneak preview. We're getting pretty close to set up. I really just have to do special buy stuff. But anyways, I've got 24 pallets of Amazon mediums. They cost me $6,000 plus freight. They're very tall pallets. Let me show you some stuff that I found so far. I only went through one. Let's see, I found this guy. If there was a second one, they'd be on my porch. I found, where is it now? Over here, fancy hubcaps. What else? Uh, fireplace, tools. Some of the stuff is over here in the special buy area already, so I'm knocking those out first. I think that's it over here. Two bill counters. Uh, these are going on eBay, as well as this very fancy thermal printer. It's got a screen on it. I have no idea what it's worth. I'll just put it in the eBay area for Tim. Ignore the pole. I already own that, but a case of, I would guess, 30 or 40 of these signs. There was an office chair. And can I get to that stuff? I shoved it all up there. Kind of. Let's get up here. We've got a fancy hose reel. It looks like it's wrought iron. This is a spray tan booth with a spray tan gun. That's a metal forge. There's a UPS in there, like a battery backup for a computer. What else? There's other things in there and I can't remember now. But anyways, there was some fun stuff, some valuable stuff, some unique stuff in there. So I wanna, oh, and this. It's a water heater. I have this set aside because a friend of mine is looking for one of these for his garage. So he might buy it from me. So anyways, we're gonna go through a couple of these on video here because that first one I went through looked really fun. They are right here. Looks like a mouse named Tim started digging through a couple of these, so let's go to some that he hasn't touched. These here. Now, if you wanna know how tall these are, I'm six foot one, and it's basically about as tall as me. They're probably six feet tall. Well, let's just start here, I guess. Let me get the tripod. So I'm gonna start with that one, because that's when the camera's pointed at. Ooh, stuff collapsing. So, uh, ooh, there's a Roomba in there. Let's grab these so they don't fall out. I'll take this off. All right. Oh, cost, um, oh, I already told you, it was $6,000 for all of them. That comes out to, with freight, about 300 bucks each. So first was this thing. It's actually pretty light. 4.7. That tells me nothing. Oh, here we go. Uh, four globe, four light globe vanity light uh, for over a mirror. So it's a light, like a bathroom light. I'm not gonna open that. Pretty low value. And then this also fell out. This does not say what it is. Whatever it is, there's something rattling around in it. And we've got, oh, that's lame. I need to vent about something. It's a large vent. Again, probably no value. If the right buyer comes around during the sale, maybe it sells on $10, but not likely. But first thing that I see right here is not a Roomba. It's bedding. So that's 10 bucks. That was disappointing. What's in this one? This box is actually open already. This is, is not completely open. I don't know what this is. A vacuum maybe? Let's uh, let's see, dual power inflator, okay. So you can, oh, and I just broke it, I didn't actually. So you can inflate your tires with this, it plugs into your car, the little plastic door that covered the tips, I grabbed and it broke off. That's probably about, I don't know, 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. We got another one, pretty lightweight box here. Really lightweight actually, it feels empty. In 
is, I don't know what this is. A thing, is this a live trap? Uh, animal humane cage, oh, it's a live trap. Not super valuable. Uh, so you do not bend door when packing. Please use carton packing instead of plastic bags. This is something for shipping. Instructions on how to ship it. Um, I don't know, that's probably 10 bucks or so. This one isn't as exciting as the one that I did, not on camera. So right here is stackable shoe organizer box. So 12 of these little shoe boxes. It is not a return, it's factory sealed. I would assume this is probably at least 30 bucks. Bigger box, also very lightweight. Let's move you a little bit closer. And okay, now you can see better. Let's see what we've got here. So some sort of portable table, I guess. There we go. I have no idea what this the intent of this is, uh, but it's on a tripod and it's missing one of the legs. So this is basically junk. I have no idea. It's on a bipod now. Uh, what about this one? I am really disappointed in my choice in pallets here. The last one, the only other one that I've gone through had some really cool stuff. And so far this one's pretty uneventful. This is a seat cushion. Oh, RV skylight insulation. Let's get a little slip here for it. 10 bucks maybe. This is curtain rod, satin nickel. This is adjustable foam wedge pillow. That's probably 10 bucks. Uh, luxury airbed, California King. It's a return though. Is it a return? I don't know, I can't tell. 30, 40 bucks maybe. Drapery rod, boy, this is really not a fun palette. All right, we got another box here. This one is light, but not as light as the others. And I'm already disappointed. The garbage bag. So some sort of bedding again, comforter or something like that. I'm really starting to wish that the first one that I opened was the one that I did on video. All right, this box, so this has some weight. Rack Parquet Wiper Scraper. I don't know what that means. All right, this is a large rubber mat. Oh, rubber like you scrape your feet. And that's the parquet pattern. Ugh. See? That's something I could probably get 30, 40 bucks out of. This, I'm not gonna open this. It looks like more bedding, another white comforter. What do we have here? Amazon Basics, uh, foldable drying rack, chrome. And that's not what's in here. Looks like a pillow. is some sort of pillow I guess bamboo uh, with high quality removable cover oh foam wedge pillow another one of those I picked the wrong palette here I think 3m red gile must be Italian this is a very serious award Filters, low value. This box is, I'm just excited to finish this palette so we can go on to the next one that will hopefully be better. Uh, let's 
see. It does not say on here what it is. It just has a barcode. Uni Cook. I think it's a grill cover. If I were to guess. Yeah. Let's see. No, this is not from that. That's from a light bulb. Based on the name Unicook, I'm going to say grill cover. That's this one. This one's got a little bit of weight to it. I mean, I feel like for what I've found here, I'll make my 300 back, but this one was not a good pallet. We've got a hose. There's more in the box. There's hardware. And that is interesting. A radiator. Hopefully I'm able to figure out what it's for. It doesn't look used, but it does have some dingers on there. So I don't know if it's any good, but I'm probably just gonna send it to a local auction because I don't see any markings on here to identify what it goes to. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see, transmission, cooling protection. It's got a model number, so maybe I can look it up. Uh, maybe it'll be worth putting on eBay, and we'll just say, you know, it's new, it's a return, it's untested. You know, we'll accept the return if there's an issue, basically. Another wedge pillow. Another box, which contains... Looks like a blanket, but a plush blanket. Very disappointed in this one. All right, this is a long box. And in it is another long box with thing. I don't know what this is. Does it say on here? It does not. Does it say on here? Oh, there's another thing in there. This is a bamboo samurai fencing 40 inch black. There's a sword in here? There's a little seam here, like it should, ooh, it just kind of glued a little bit. So a wooden fencing sword, that's not tape, that's like the plastic that holds it together. I feel like this would break very easily, so I'm not going to use it for stabby things, but um, there we go. I don't know, 20 bucks maybe? What's the other thing that fell out? Oh, like a little display for it. So I will just put that all back in there. So the first thing that was kind of cool on this pallet. All right. Oh, that's a heavy box. We seat, it says on it. So a chair, maybe? And in it is... I don't know, fancy chair, I guess. Right, let's see if this says what it is. We seat adjustable bar stools. So it's a set of two polished chrome. It's got, there's the base. And, ooh, this looks fancy. I will just move the camera here so you can see it. Fancy looking bar stools. Those I will put together, special buy area of the sale, and probably get maybe 150 bucks for the set. So I mean, in theory, ugh, this pays for half the pallet. What's next? Oh, there's a little one down here. Every second deserves to possess. A clock is my guess. Oh, that's kind of neat. It is a clock. 
Well, it was a clock that is no longer attached, but it looks like it's salvageable. I'm not going to try and take it out of plastic. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this really just needs to be glued back on. I think we're fine. So that's kind of neat. The gears turn with it as the time changes. I need to bend these a little bit to fix them, but I think I could probably get 15 bucks out of that. I'm going to put it back in here. Seriously, the first pallet was so good. There were multiple items in there that will sell for the price of the whole pallet. All right, what is this? Steaks for something. Mmm, steak. Are for. This one has a weird little hook on the end. Doesn't look broken. There's another one with the weird little hook. What in the world is that? Oh, I think I see. I think that goes into the ground and this probably goes with it so it goes like that into the ground and then this attaches onto here and then this attaches onto here I don't know what it is though it had, now I got it all put together, I can't show you. It's got this type of hook on the end, and there's two of them. Where's the box? I threw it somewhere. Let me see if I can find what it is. So it does not say what it is. So if you can figure out why we need something like this 10 feet high, you let me know. And it sticks into the ground, and there's two of them. And it sticks pretty good into the ground. All right, three boxes left, and then we can move on to a hopefully better pallet. Let's see if we get this one. A 52 inch ceiling fan, that's like a fancy looking one. There you go. That's probably good for 50 or 100 bucks. Oh, this one's kind of heavy. Another longer box. And this is a mattress topper, and it is new. I Homey mattress topper. Let's say the size. Queen two inch mattress topper. So uh, here's a the user's manual. I homie. All right, last box is a really big and really heavy one. So let's open it. So. In this box, what in the world is that? I think this is an attic fan. It's a big attic fan, because you see there's a damper on the other side. That's a big, heavy fan. I don't know if it says anywhere on the box. It does not say what it is. Just got these. But I'm assuming it's like an, an attic fan or a barn fan or something that gets mounted in. That might be worth a hundred bucks or so. As far as what I can sell it for, I'm sure in the store it's like three or four hundred, but I'm not the store. 
So, a lot of boring stuff, but I mean, just the, what was the fancy thing? The bar stools, the fan, that fan, mattress topper's gotta be 50 bucks. That's probably about 30. I'd say that stuff probably pays for it, and all the other stuff is just a little bit of profit that I would get for it. Not ideal, not a great one. I'm gonna get this stuff all loaded back in here and we'll open another one, maybe this one. Have they started messing around this one? No, it's still sealed up. And lots of boxes. So bad news, Tim stopped in. Uh, he had to get his car, drop off his car right around the corner. So he decided to come in and work a little bit. And we went through some of these pallets. I still have some that haven't been touched, but the one that we were gonna do here ton of dog food in here. That'll be pretty good. The coolest thing I think I found so far was this. Stonewall kitchen. And in it is a whole bunch of different sauces and seasonings. Uh, we found this. Found a globe. What else? A ninja foodie. Uh, anything else super exciting? This was fun. my head look really big? I have no idea what's on the camera right now. I can't see it. Other oh, odds and ends. Even look at this. It's the same Stonewall Kitchen brand. I think it's like a mixing bowl set. Uh, fancy looking TV. It's a toaster oven. It always plays the same thing. Bread. Um, so, stuff like that. Let's see. This one will probably be easiest to get to. So let's go through this one next. Cut her open. A gun fell out. <laughs> I'm assuming it's some sort of air rifle. This is interesting. I don't know anything about this. Gamo, G-A-M-O is the brand. That might be a Z, I'm not sure. It's part of their logo there. It looks really fancy. Swarm Fusion. Beware of remaining pellet into the breach. So it's a really fancy pellet gun. Safety must be on, I can't pull the trigger. Whoa, there was no pellet in it. I'm gonna have some fun with this thing. I don't know how you cock it. That thing has some serious power on it. I am going to hurt myself so much. I'm like, Set this aside. That's always the best when you cut open a pallet here and a gun falls out. All right. Where were we? Oh, these. More of these. So we found 10 of these on the dog food pallet. No solds on eBay, but they're listed around 150 bucks. And it looks like we got a couple more here. There's one, two of them. So. I'm gonna list them on eBay for maybe a hundred bucks plus shipping. Let's see how they go. I'm also gonna try them in the sale for like, I don't know, 80 to a hundred bucks and just see how they do. All right, this is a heavy one. I can't believe that gun was on there. I am going to hurt myself. I don't know if I'm gonna sell that. That thing, I might need to play with it first. I might need to go to Fleet Farm and get some pellets for it and maybe Google the instruction manual because I don't even know how to load this thing. I've never played with a fancy pellet gun. I've played with cheap ones that are like 20 bucks at Walmart. This like feels, it's got the weight of like an actual rifle. I have played with actual guns and it feels like an actual gun as far as weight. I mean, it's kind of plastic on here. So that's a little, but yeah. Am I allowed to have guns on YouTube? I don't know. We'll see if this video gets deleted by YouTube. All right, this box has... 
I'm gonna guess this is an air mattress. Uh, let's see, could be an inflatable pool too, but I don't think that would be in a bag. Yeah, air mattress. Queen double high air bed. So we'll set that aside here. All right, my phone is going off. My other half says, geez louise. Anyways. Oh, uh, we got another big box. This one's lighter. Let me guess. It's a pillow. There were a lot of pillows in the other ones. Pillows and bedding. Some of it was nicer stuff. Some of it was just the same old. And we've got a wedge pillow. We're gonna have a lot of wedge pillows on $10 day in the sale. I'm just gonna try and you know, get rid of them. This is a rug. I think it's like a dog bed or something. It's really fluffy and it's got these grips on the bottom. So I'm gonna guess some sort of dog bed. It's probably about 30 bucks or so, as long as it's not stained or anything. All right, we got some weight to this. It sounds like a lot of loose stuff in here. I'm gonna set it down and open it. And this is, I don't know, wood tapered legs. Sounds like there's screws or something rolling around in here. So we've got a set of four legs. <laughs> nice legs, doll face. Um, let's see, and then the hardware that attaches them on and the screws are falling out, but it's just to attach these to the table. It's not that big of a deal. We've got four sets of them, so 16 legs. I think those will have some value. Um, I also might hang on to them. I've looked at buying legs. Um, so many jokes here that I can't say on YouTube. Uh, but I looked at buying legs because I'll get like a broken piece of furniture or something and think just cut off the broken legs, put nice ones on and refinish it. But they're expensive. It's like 80 bucks for a nice set of legs on, on Amazon. Um, so I might save at least one set of those. Moving on. All right. What else we got here? This is light bulbs. Looks like just regular light bulbs, uh, big light bulbs. I saw the uh, the logo and thought maybe it was uh, grow bulbs, but it looks like they're just regular, um, like spotlight type bulbs. Ten bucks. Stay. All right. We got this box pretty lightweight. I don't like that Amazon is using like plastic tape now. I like the paper tape because you can just tear it. And this is a Christmas decoration. Snowflakes that light up. I'm gonna go on a limb and say they're probably non-functioning. All right. Oh, this one has a little bit of weight to it. I was expecting this to be a lot lighter. This box is, I don't know, it's got wheels. Roan lap. I don't know what the purpose of this is. Some sort of cart, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure it's worth 10 to 20 bucks at least. I'll have, I'm gonna look it up because sometimes things like that can be weirdly expensive, um, but I'm assuming probably 10 to 20 bucks. All right, here is another box. And in it is a sunshade. It looks like a pretty big one. What does this paper say? Oh no, it's a privacy fence screen. Does it say the size? It does not, but like that. They have similar material that goes overhead to block out the sun. Um, I'd save it for summer, but I bet I could get some money for that. The gun, I don't know if you could see that when I tossed it in, the gun's leaning on this pout and started to fall over. Uh, what is this box? 
It's about as heavy as you would expect a box this size to be. And in it is a portable pet playpen. Is there a picture of it? Uh, looks like it turns into a big circle, maybe. I don't know. I think it's one of those things that, like, when you open it, it explodes, like a sun visor or uh, those cheap laundry hampers that you get at Walgreens for three bucks. Another box. I don't know why I keep announcing that's another box. They're all boxes. And in it is uh, one of those uh, pregnancy pillows that women would lay on that goes the length of her body. Those aren't super cheap. I think I could probably get 20, 25 bucks for it. All right, here's a little one. A little box. And in it is, looks like a uh, rug. A floral carpet throw, 60 by 180 centimeters. That's probably like a runner, right? And just a little decorative runner rug. That's 10 bucks. Uh, let's see. Put this down a little bit more. Another large lightweight box, I'm gonna guess bedding. And what do you know? Another white comforter. We are gonna have so many white comforters in this sale. Ah, I caught it. I'm gonna move this. Yeah, I was gonna make the joke when I first found it. How do you know if it's loaded? You just look down the barrel. But seeing how high powered that thing is, that would probably go through my head. I usually limit that joke to Nerf guns. At least then if it shoots me in the eyeball. It's not that bad. I'll be sore for a couple of days. Maybe blind for life, no big deal. It's not gonna go through my brain. All right, we've got a block of styrofoam. Oh. These are planters. I thought it was bowls. It's planters. We've got a set of six of them. I'll probably save these for summer, but in the summertime, I suspect I will be able to get, oh, I don't know, three bucks a piece for them. Uh, and there's six of them, so it's about 18 bucks or so. We'll put them out probably on like five or six dollar day in the summer warehouse sale. Oh, this one's got a bit of an imperfection in it. It's glazed over that. Uh, so we'll put them out uh, in five or six dollar day, but it's gonna wait until the summer sale because it's it's planters, not the peanuts, the ones that plants go in. All right, we got dog food here. I'm gonna set this there, put it in that other pallet. These are big bags of dog food, but they expired last December, December of 2022. I feel like they're still worth, these are probably 40 bucks in the store. Rough guess. Dogs can eat expired food. I had a dog for about a week when I was a kid, and that dog ate out of the cat litter box. If dogs can eat that, they can eat food that expired a month ago. Uh, what else? Uh, but anyways, if they're like 40 retail, I don't think I'd have any problem even expired getting 10 bucks for them. All right, in this giant box, there's this little box. We had another one, we had a box that was like the size of a coffin and it had, well, I don't know where he put it. It had a shower curtain rod. It was honestly with the packaging probably about the size of this in a box the size of a coffin. Uh, this is a black gallery picture frame, eight by 20 picture frame with mat to display four, four by six photos. That's a weird thing to buy on Amazon. I feel like you can buy that a dollar tree for like three bucks. But, oh, isn't that pretty? Take the packing material out. Honestly, that kind of looks cool like that. Um, I think we can get 10 bucks for that. All right. We got a few of whatever this is. Doesn't say what it is. Maybe it's another Moo Moo. This is a 
still don't know what this is. It's got like Velcro on it. What is this? And it's got Velcro on the top with these ties. I have no idea. The tag does not say what it is. It just says a number. How about this one? Same thing, just a number. I don't know. We'll just put them out and the buyer will decide what they are. All right, here we've got, I really don't think that's what this is. Uh, it's a 30 pack of light bulbs, like fluorescent tubes, but it definitely doesn't feel like that's what it is. That actually is what it is. So 30 of these. Oh, these are LED though. It's kind of neat. The LED ones I think are pretty expensive. So it's a 30 pack of those. I would probably consider putting this on eBay, but I don't want to ship it. That is not gonna be fun to ship because the box is all messed up. Get another one of these things. All right, here we've got a pooper scooper. A really bad one. Hello, my name is Pooper Scooper. I am a crap claw. All right. Oh, oh, lost it. Hold on. <laughs> All right, what is this? Uh, foldable, foldable, expandable, rather. I don't know where I saw foldable. Drawer organizer. So you can organize your drawers. Ten bucks. We got a long box here. It doesn't sound fancy. It sounds like a curtain rod or something in it. And what is in it? Hey, guess what? Another box. And that box is empty, but in that is, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say a curtain rod. Does it say on here? It does not. I am going to call this a curtain rod. Looks like we got three more of these. I'm just kind of tossing stuff at this point. No organization whatsoever. Correction. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Correction, four of these. If I can get a hundred bucks a piece, it's, let's see, that was four. I had, I think two earlier and then 10 on the other pallet. That's 16 of them right there. That'd be 1600 bucks if I can get that on eBay. Tough to say though. You got another one of these things. We've got uh, pull down shades. I think this is just packing material. It's like foam. Yeah, it's sheets of foam. We'll probably just use that for shipping. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, this is a beverage. This is Runa Blood Orange Brewed Natural Caffeine. Let's climb out of here. A box of two for a six pack of these. Um, smells good. That means one of them is probably, well, more realistically, if it's only six, one of them probably leaked in there and got thrown away. All right, this box is a hall tree with metal frame. That doesn't sound very good. This one is not labeled. And it is Maybe a patio umbrella. I don't know. Beach tall sling chair. There are two of them in here. They'll probably be 10 bucks each. So I guess it's like the beach chairs where you're sitting really close to the ground, but it's tall, so it should be a little bit more comfortable. And last box. I'm gonna guess another curtain rod. Hmm. 
No, it's kind of stinky in here. Let me reach into the dark box where I can't see what it is. And, uh... Now I'm gonna reach in the dark bag where I can't see what it is. What in the world is... It seems fancy. Oh, yeah. Um, trolling hunter, line weight. So maybe something for fishing? I don't know. Fiblink trolling hunter, 502, line weight 80 to 120 pounds. I'm guessing it's something for fishing. Maybe it mounts in your boat so you can put your fishing pole in it. It seems pretty fancy. On this side. Oh, there you go. Fishing pole. And this comes off. It's just packing material on the end. So probably a pretty fancy fishing pole. Happy fishing, happy life. Huh. I'll have to look that one up on eBay. It seems 502 line weight, 80 to 120. Does it say any details on the box? I'm sure with the details that I had, that will give away what it is. Nope. Is there anything else in the box? I think this is like the runoff from shipping labels. We just shove that in a box. All right, that's it for this pallet. I'm thinking we'll do one more. I'm thinking it's gonna be that one, the one right next to this one, right there. I'll just have to move this pallet, but let me walk to the other side and see if there are any that I can get to more easily. Well, there's these, that's the tripod you're seeing right there, but I can't really get to these all that easily. Me and Tim went through those. Well, actually we didn't, but they're already open. There are a couple over here though. Why don't we do that? Let's go through, it looks like someone already started on that one. So let's go through this one and when we have time, we'll go through this one. All right, so a gun fell out of the last one. Maybe a, well, we already got a sword on the pallet before that. Hmm, maybe a tank. What other fun weapons are there? This one's like all wedged in there. It doesn't fall out. Oh, let's see what do we have here. Manual salad spinner. This is a big salad spinner. So, and it is sealed. The top of the box is stapled on. Uh, let's see, here we've got a roll of plastic. I'm assuming this is like a chair mat to protect your floor from your rolling office chair. That's a good $10 item. We've got a 10 foot pool. The box has been resealed, but I mean, you're not getting it back in here. It's probably unused. That will save for summer. We're gonna have a whole bunch of pools in our summer sale because I've gotten a lot of pools on pallets lately. This is a pool filter and it's in a garbage bag. So I'm gonna just probably put it up for $10 a day and let someone take the gamble on it. All right. This is a curtain rod. All the curtain rods, I just put out on $10 a day and hope they sell. we got some sort of, oh, another wedge pillow. Guess what this is? It's a box. And in that box is, oh, 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 another box. And in that box is a pillow. What is up with all the pillows? So many, that was loud. Is there more stuff in there? Nope, just pillows, two pillows. That was my knife. All right, next. Get this wonderful packing job. Someone sent this back to Amazon like that. Um, doesn't say what it is. Some sort of stainless steel organizer. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's one of those fancy ones. 
that goes over your sink. Oh, oh, there's a better picture right there. So I'm thinking we'll probably assemble that before we sell it to make sure all the parts are there. All right, got another big box here, but it's not super heavy. So I'm gonna guess wedge pillow, regular pillows, or bedding. That seems to be the common theme on this video. And it looks to be a comforter. But this one's black, all the other ones have been white. Some inflatable thing. Probably just going out for like Dollar Day or something. I'm sure it's got a hole in it. We've got blue curtains. We've got uh, another one of those roller shades. I don't know what they're called. That's how I describe it. This is, I had a box just like this earlier. I don't remember if it was on the video or one that I found going through with Tim, but I don't remember what it was. Oh, yep. Yeah. Roller shade. And that, I'm pretty sure, is what the other one was. All right, here we go. We've got a canopy. That's probably good for about 50, 60 bucks. Uh, let's see, this is, I think this is another one. A straight leg instant canopy. It's not the same one. I think it's heavier. Let's see, uh, let's see. canopy with walls, khaki, 10 by 10. So it's a canopy with walls and it's khaki and it's 10 by 10. Uh, oh. This could be good. Microsoft refurbish. I don't know how well you can see that. That doesn't mean that's what's in it. As we saw with the darn Roomba. Let's see. And it is retaped. There's, that tape was cut and there's another layer of tape over. It's got some weight to it though. Let's see, we got a bunch of styrofoam here. Hey, it's a computer and it's still sealed in the plastic. Uh, let's see. Service tag, uh, 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 refurbished in Canada. Let's see, Microsoft authorized refurbished. Please plug in the Wi-Fi wireless LAN port, one of the USBs. Uh, it doesn't have any details on this as to what to expect. Not that I would know. I don't know a lot about computers. Let's see, here we go. We've got to recover Windows 10, activation guide, manufacturer's warranty. This is probably the keyboard. We can open it. Yeah, that's a keyboard, all right. We've got the little Wi-Fi thing. Hey there, I'm your like new Amazon renewed device. Nice to meet you. So at least seeing that makes me feel a little more comfortable that I suppose anybody could have made that, but it's not like just somebody selling a computer saying it's, that's the mouse, saying it's like manufacturer uh, refurbished. So, computer. I don't know, that's gonna be a hundred bucks. But I wish there was some details on like, you know, what the RAM is, what the, what the uh, hard drive size is. I don't think this shows it. I think it's just a generic how to set up your computer thing. Uh, let's see. No details. It's just unknown refurbished computer. So now the question is, Am I going to sell it for more money because it's still factory sealed and clearly untouched since it was refurbished? Or am I going to sell it for more money by opening it up and getting the actual specs on it? But now they, the customer doesn't know that it's actually certified refurbished. It could just be a computer. Tough to say. I feel like it's probably not a super high level computer. So it's not like I'm gonna open it up and it'll be like a gaming PC or something like that. I don't know. All right, we've 
got another box here. This box has <laughs> my tushy is hairy. Uh, it's a giant solar panel. It's pretty big. Um, I actually have one of these. I've never used it. Uh, but you literally just, I plug my phone into it and it charges it. I figured I'd get like a backup battery or something that I can put it on. All right, here we've got an Intex LED pool sprayer. box yep that is what's in this box you can't see that you're just gonna have to trust me i don't know it's loose in the box probably 10 bucks uh, what is this it's whoo it's santa claus i think that's what's in it i hear a bell ringing when i'm shaking it around but i don't know how you put it Whole Santa Claus in here. Oh no, it's just the suit. I thought it was like a, a stand up. I want to stand outside of a Walmart and demand your pocket change. Uh, so it's a Santa suit. I'll probably save this for next Christmas and probably wear it. Or I'll save it for next Christmas and sell it. I think like nice Santa suits like that are actually pretty expensive. This is all season comforter how do you fit a comforter in this little box let's find out oh that's how no it's not this is not a comforter it's like curtains or something i don't know ten dollar day you got another box here it's like the ones, and weight-wise, like all the ones with the wedge pillows and stuff. But a lot of the weight is on this side, so I don't think that's what it is. And it is... Oh! This is kind of neat. Grass. I think it's for golfing. Yeah. So, it's a net like that. And it's got the little... I was on the picture, but I just showed you. Ugh. A little thing here, like at the driving range, so you can tee off of there. So you can golf in your yard, except even if it was right in front of me, somehow I would manage to hit someone's house over there. I'm great at golfing if the intent is to get the ball in the next fairway over. All right, this is a thing. Save money, make your Cigarettes. I don't know why. It didn't look like it was spelled right, but I think it is. Save money and make your cigarettes. You ever hear that joke where uh, a guy asks his wife, hey, can you go pick me up a pack of smokes? And so she goes to the store and she comes back with, um, with just a bag of tobacco and some rolling paper and some filters. And he's upset. And she says, well, it's cheaper this way if you make them yourself. Okay, so he does it. And then a couple months later, she asks him, hey, when you're at the store, can you grab me some tampons? And he says, sure. And he came back with some cotton balls and string and says, here, it's cheaper if you make them yourself. I'm yelling. I don't know why I'm yelling. I don't know why I'm opening that either. I'm sure that's worth 10 bucks. Uh, I don't know why I grunted. This is a very lightweight box. I'm gonna guess pillows. Yes, it is a pillow. I got a lot of cleanup to do after this. Look at the mess you guys are making. All right, this is a premium face shield. This is like, I don't want to wear a mask in public, so I'm going to wear a face shield instead. Or is it like for an actual purpose? Like welding or something. I'm not sure. It looks a little fancier than the first one. All right, I am officially ready. I don't know what I'm ready for. I bet that gun would shoot right through this. Oh, it goes up. Ha! I was just trying to take it off. 
I can be one of those guys. When like the, when Benson and Stable are coming, I'm sitting here welding and they want to ask me questions. Yeah, I can talk for a minute, but I got to work. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting this back in the box. I don't know what his intent is for, but I'm sure it's worth at least 10 bucks. All right, this is... Looks like a collapsible, oh, collapsible storage thing here. Uh, there are a whole bunch of them in that box. Two, three, four, five, six, at least seven. There's at least seven of them in here. I usually get 10 bucks for those in the sale. So that's like 70 bucks. All right, now I'm gonna open this. It's another one of those curtain roll up things. Well, this has a little bit of weight to it. It is a side, a side table. You just think of the air with stuff rattling around in there. Oftentimes it's still perfectly fine. The issue is we gotta put it together. Um, or we sell it as is and we don't get much for it. That's something that I might sell as is and not get much for it. Um, because, what? That table, if it's pull it fully put together, I'm gonna get what, 30 bucks for it? It's not worth the time to put it together. This might be for a grill. Don't know. Doesn't say on here what these go to. So, dollar day, someone will find a use for it. This is, the box is open. This is homemade tension shoe install black mat. Uh, looks like it's a shower curtain rod or something. Uh, tension type. This looks like a fancy box. Oh, it's shoes. It's boots. Off-brand Dream Pairs is the name. Boots. Now I just need to find some cats. And I can go boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. And boots and cats. All right, what else do we have? Oh, man. I can't handle this. <laughs> oh, I get it. Because it's a handle. You guys are no fun. All right, we got another, this is a really lightweight box. And in it is, I think this is like window film, but it, the way it's all wrinkled, I don't know if it's usable. I don't know, we'll let the customer decide. Another lightweight box. is air, more air, more air. And this thing, I have no idea what this is. Did you see that? That box hit me. It doesn't say, honestly. We'll put this out on dollar day and hope someone takes it. And if not, it's going in the garbage. Alright, what else? This is something. It is a deluxe pop up dot 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 bag stakes and guy lines. Not guidelines, G U Y lines. I don't know what a guy line is. Let's see if we can find some sort of instruction book in here that shows how it's supposed to look. Well, I feel something in here. Pop-up beach tent. So I guess that makes sense, um, but only if it's like an attractive half naked woman in that tent, but still within view, there will be lines of guys coming to look. 
I don't know. I don't know. My guess is it's a typo. And it's supposed to be guidelines. But get in the bag. Go to your home. All right, I'm gonna worry about that later. If you look on here. Uh, can you read that? Guy lines. I thought it was like a pop-up changing tent. I've sold those before. It was a little tent that pops up and it's for like changing clothes, maybe at the beach or like a photographer who's doing wardrobe changes on their clients. What in the world is that? A whole bunch of little stuff in there. This is not one of them, but this is uh, some sort of car part or something. I don't know, probably no value. This is, looks like a padded floor mat, like for the bathroom. This is really light. There's like nothing in here. Uh, let's see, this is wings. Is this two of them or one? There we go. It's like actual feathers. That's the wrong arm. This is tricky to put on. Ah, Uh-oh, <laughs> I hear it breaking. Huh? Doesn't feel like it's breaking. Oh, oh, there it broke. The elastic snapped off. I don't know, someone will still find a use for it. It's like actual feathers. That is the weirdest thing ever. Uh, large white angel wings. Reminds me of the movie Dogma, where Matt Damon is in the worst place ever. Milwaukee. All right, we got another box. There's something loose bouncing around in there. What in the world? Oh, it's shades for like a window. Or the worst accordion ever. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. Yeah. There's two of them and then suction cup hardware to hold it on. Interesting. All right, next. We got this box. And this is probably bedding. Maybe, I don't know. Not the same bedding at least. Oh, it's a chunky knit throw. Out of the bag, but still. This will easily sell for 10. We got like an area of stuff around me I can't walk through. And a white comforter. We don't have enough of those already. And handheld microphone boom. I've been picking feathers off of me for a week. Um, newer, that's a decent brand. Not high end, but decent quality. I don't know, probably 20 bucks. What else? Here we've got a blackout roller shade. What else? Probably the same thing. Oh no, this is another roll of plastic, like uh, a chair mat. Now, there's a whole bunch of little stuff in here. It's all the same thing. It's like a baby thing, maybe? Uh, for my bear teethers. I don't know. Probably get two or three bucks each for them. There's gotta be, what, 20 of them there? This is probably about 40 to 60 bucks. Now I need to clean up this. And if I do that, we can open one more, maybe. I just looked at how long these clips are. So I'm not gonna open one more on this video, but there's two more here. So let's open those. It'll be another video, the next video probably. I need to get some air. Water is what I really need, I'm thirsty. It's a lot of talking. This job is very strenuous. Good thing we always keep little tiny bottles of water everywhere. So anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll dig through the next pallet, two pallets that are sitting there in the next video.
which I'm going to film right now. Bye.